final thoughts I want to leave with one of my favorite people, <laughs> uh, Patrick Mahomes, like you guys know, right? Quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs, very young gentleman, 25 years old or so, but he says wonderful things. He's a great leader. It's not just a good football player, great. I mean, Super Bowl champion and all, you know, whatever. Heading back there next week. Yeah, two weeks. But he's a great leader. As a matter of fact, short story for you. I was at the AFC Championship game this weekend, and there was quite a bit of a scuffle on the, if you guys were watching, you saw the um, fighting going on, and then the separation of all that. I'm sure it cuts to commercial, but in front of us, we're seeing this like mad craziness going on, and, you know, players and coaches pulling people off of each other. There's like there was, it looked kind of like a hockey game for a second. And so just seeing that, but like, for some reason, I gravitate towards the leaders, right? I want to see like, okay, how are they acting? How are they responding in this chaos? I kid you not. Patrick Mahomes, after seeing all this chaos and what was going on, separated himself for a moment, walked away, walked far down the field. No one else was really around him. He's pacing around. I don't know what he was doing, but he was separating himself from the drama and the chaos of what was happening until they announced the official what was happening. He didn't even talk to the coach. He just kind of separated himself from the drama because there was a lot of fighting and throwing and accusing and finger pointing. And then later on, after that was all settled, um, it started to happen again. And he was gathering up his people and like, no guys, we're I, I was reading his lips. Like I'm watching. And they moved, he moved them all. He, he looked at the ref, the, um, the referee. And he was like, official. He was like, you know what? He's like, I got him. I got him. And he led his player who was hot under the collar over here and dealt with him and talked with him and encouraged them back up. It's great to see these great young leaders doing these things. Watch the leaders. Don't always watch the players or the superstars, but watch the people who lead, lead by example and lead by that. That's, that's why he's great. It's not because he's an amazing football player. It's because he has leadership skills and he knows how to lead his people to success along with other people. He always, oh, he never takes the credit. Listen to what he says. If you ever watch football, I don't care. I do all the time. He doesn't take the credit. He said, everybody has worked so hard. It's always an us mentality. And that's why you win Super Bowls because it's us mentality. So I'm just invoking that in you guys. And this last quote, I just want to leave with you is every experience, good or bad, you have to learn from. And, you know, it's probably not the first person who said that, but it's also a really great thing. Learning from the experience, whether it's good or bad, we're learning to move forward and everything. So I really just want us to have this us mentality and working together because the rising tide raises all ships, right? So if we all lift each other up, everybody's lifted up, not just some of us. So raise each other up, you guys. 